Oh my god. That was a bomb. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Axel and I am playing Amnesia the Bunker. It is a brand new game that just came out and I, I'm, I'm sort of a fan of Amnesia. I've never played it myself, but it's one of those games that I watched a lot when I was younger and I watched a lot of YouTube back in the day. You know, you got PewDiePie, you got Markiplier, you got other YouTubers back in the day that played Amnesia, but I mostly would just watch those two like all the time. And uh, this is my first time playing Amnesia, but I'm not, you know, super in the dark about it. I pretty much know kind of like what I'm going to get into, but at the same time, I don't because I don't know what the bunker itself entails, but I recognize the title. So all I know is that you're running away from a monster and uh, that's all you know. And I'm starting. Oh, I can lean. I'm gonna take the shovel with me. Might need to dig some stuff up, probably. That's a dead body. Hold on R to check how many bullets you got. Okay. Oh, we have to click while load. Oh, so you do it manually. That's different. Okay, so this is the first time I've seen in Amnesia that you actually get a weapon, you know, something to defend yourself with. So, um, all this looks pretty new to me in terms of like mechanics. Okay, I got three bullets loaded in. Can I wear this hat for protection? Uh, press for long to go further. There we go. Let's go. This way. Door. Door. Get out of the way. Bullet. Ow, ow. I got away from the lo load. Go now. Go now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Oh, okay, I'm good now. You've been injured. Hold tab to see how bad it is. To see how bad it is. Ah, uh, yeah, I got some human juice on me. I'm spilling juice. You just picked up an item that can be used for crafting. Pick up other cloth piece and press tab to access the inventory page and combine two cloth items to craft a bandage.
Hold down, ready to item, and then press to use. And I'm all fixed up. Because that's how it works. Are those grenades? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, can I throw something at it? I need a brick. I need to break this door down. Oh, you know what? I just got grenades. Let me use one of those. Just gonna check if it's locked. Yeah, okay, it's locked. Just wanna double check. Alright. And throw. Did it work? Okay, almost got a full roll of bullets. I don't know what you call it. Do I use my other grenade or can I shoot this thing? What was that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm trapped. It is so fast, fast. You're dying on me, Arms. We make it out of this hell together. You follow me. We're nearly there. my friend there you have it huh ah oh, fate's a bastard i'm on patrol tonight then say that again Okay, now where am I? Is this some kind of like dream world? I'll get you back to safety. Just hold on to me. Don't worry, pal, I got you. 
Do not worry a thing. Yeah, I got a bucket. You are now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. Okay, so as far as I know, pretty much it's about you, a soldier, being down in the bunker. And there is a big monster that's lurking around trying to get you. Okay, now I have a walk in. Oh, so that's how you rotate. The old classic amnesia rotating items. And throw. No, leave that on. I'm not scared of the dark or anything, it's just that usually in past games that you kind of need the lights. But I don't know about this one, it might be a little different. All notes you pick up can be found under the notes tab in your inventory. You can go directly to the picked up note by pressing tab while the icon is flashing. Amnesia cause. 10th July 1916. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of 9 July. Personnel effects held in the storage locker. Personal effects. Like items? Patient remains in a weak coma state will respond to... Stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, roused, he reported no memory of recent events, had trouble recalling his, even his own name, most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor if status is not improved in a week's time. Recommend transfer to St. Antony. Antin? Wait. Transfer to St. Et. Etin. Etin. For a neurological test, signed Dr. Josiki, jo, jo, Josinski. Josinski. Okay, cool. Author, date. Sorry about that. My reading's not that well. Well. What's this? Apparently nothing. It kind of looked like a thing you could save with. Kind of like um, Resident Evil 4. You know, funny enough, I was kind of waiting for this game for a while, and I wanted to play it very badly. And just last night, while I was waiting for this game to come out on Game Pass, I found out that there is a... I found out that there was a demo that came out like a month or two ago, and uh, I didn't know about that. And I felt kind of dumb, because I wanted to play this game and try it out. Press F to bring out or put away the flashlight. So, I know there was a demo, but I did not play it because the game was going to come out soon anyway. So, I'm like, okay, you know what? Might as well just wait and hold out until the game actually releases. Ninth of July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. All right, cool. That one talks. So I guess when I find other notes from... 
these people, I guess, like other people. Uh, I have to read them, but when it says me, there's like a a thing where I can just talk. Ninth of July. Wait, does it talk Ninth when I get away? July. Okay, it doesn't. Just wanted to know. Okay, there might be a tool, like some sort of um, like thing to let me break those chains. Where's my flashlight? Hold down F to charge a flashlight, Can't, but be careful not to make too much noise. That's cool. So that's how flashlight worked back in the day? Is this for real? Because I don't know much about flashlight technology. Autopsy of Renard, 14 July 1916, body of S uh, Sergeant Renard, multiple lacerations, chest cavity torn to shreds, every rib cracked, skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to him? Clearly another soldier, but that sounds like a lot of damage, so who knows what happened to him. Could have been a bomb. Okay, it looks like three charges is enough to uh, make a bright light. The brightest I can do, at least. That's locked. And I'm down here by myself. Okay, so I'm getting. I'm guess what happened is that I got injured. They brought me down here to medical, and something happened to everybody. But I'm still alive, and I woke up somehow. Maybe because the danger was outside the room and everyone left to um, get away from it, but it all caught up to them. And somehow, I was left alone. It is me. I'm someone. Yeah, man. Get it. Do the job, please. In the pantry? What did I grab? It's getting closer. I'm looking around for it. My God. Well, I'm sorry, dude. That was scripted. Couldn't do anything about it. Yellow? Monster, you there? Well, what do I do now? Okay, so I'm assuming the monster can travel through these holes around the rooms, and that kind of frightens me because there's everywhere. So whichever point I'm a little too loud next to the hole, it can just like grab it, use his arm to just go through and grab my leg or something. Well, 
Well, that's locked. Is there a way to go around? I don't think so. Okay, let's just go this way. Let's go back where I came from. <gasps> Unless... Oh, I got an idea. That was probably a little too loud. Is that supposed to be a light switch? Cause it's not working. Oh, something in the way. Dude, what no way? You stay closed. I thought you were a person. You gave me a little fright there, coat. V. Baptist. Got a note from Q for low. For Lou. Note from the clerk read. Do what? Note from head clerk read dog tags. Important. When proceeding to see soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. They are wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Oh, so it's like a little game thing where, like, I guess there's lockers and you can open up with their codes. But the one I picked up didn't have anything on it. So I guess that means it's nothing of irrelevance or importance. You can see your progress by lighting this lamp. Progress saved. Okay, I got my whole storage here and got my inventory. I don't got a lot of spaces, though. What's this? Meat. Expired meat should not be consumed by soldiers. Better used to attract rodents and other bunker pests can be thrown. Oh, so it's like bait. Use this box for storing things from your inventory. I got that already. What's this? It's a window. Do I hear breathing? Rats and burnt corpses. Up to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burned. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I've spoken to Father De, Father De Rice? Rice about this matter. He will provide proper consecration. For the deceased, remains will be preserved for families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming, so burn them we must. Damn, that sucks. Can I burn myself to uh, get away from the rats? Generator. Fuel and fire. Warning, generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarette near it. Store it only in sturdy metal can canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. Ooh, I got a cloth. Just need one more to make a health thingy. <gasps> oh, I got a hammer. It's a weapon. Any secrets? You can power the generator by filling it with fuel and pulling the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. Ooh, we got a stopwatch. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You're dead. Oh, the note was from this dude. 2729. Any code you find is written down in the codes tab in your inventory. Oh, cool. That's actually really cool. They actually, like, you know, write it down in this whole separate tab. Very useful. So 
So where are the lockers? They're probably outside somewhere. I saw like a sign out there that was pointing a different like left and right. So I should point to the way towards the lockers. How do I? How do I do this? Keep on at all times. The fuck. The fucker hates light. Are they just talking about the monster or the rats? I hear breathing still, and that bothers me. Hold down, ready item, press use it. Okay. Uh, how much time is that? Only about... How many gallons is that? Not a lot. Did I synchronize the watch with the fuel? That's a thing? You can do that? Gotta save just in case. I don't know if this game has any auto saving, so gotta be saving all the time. Unlock it. Can I not unlock? Oh, there's a code here. Oh, wait, what do I... Where's the the code thingy? Got me something around here. Well, great. Now that's a waste because I probably could have opened this first and then put the fuel in. Unless maybe there's a code from the dead body I just got from now. Let's try that. 2729. It was. You can overcome most obstacles in multiple ways. Use your wits and your brains. Experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. Which is basically a latent, latent way of saying, um, physics work in this game. Try it. Have some fun. Okay, so my main objective is to basically build a bomb to get out of here. And I'm guessing... Oh, this is it. This is the exit. Yeah. Alright. Uh, doesn't sound too hard now, but we'll see about that. So, what do I need? How to get the hell out of here? I've not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last. But in the hope there is... Wait. But in the hope that there might be another... I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed and needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is located in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. You just found a new object. Objective. Objectives will be marked on your maps and notes containing objectives will be highlighted in the notes list. Okay. Soldier quarters. That's probably where the lockers are. Arsenal. Officer quarters. Maintenance. Let's go with the quarters first. See what we're gonna find. That's a bomb. Emergency lockdown. What does that do? It's, I guess, does it do like an alarm thing? Or does it open this up? Prison. Infirmary. 
Oh, that was locked before. It was blocked. Oh shit, it ran out. Look at the stopwatch. Well, that wasn't a lot of time. That was like, what, 10 minutes? At least like five minutes? Got some more fuel. All photos that you pick up can be found under the photos tab inventory. It's got some claw marks. Not sure why they took a picture of that. Jubert's final journal. To any who find this, Fernier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. He lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee. Flee. We must flee and steal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run. Blow up the exit behind him. Sealing the demon down here. The demon in our men. This constant refrain. It is getting to him. It is getting to me. And that same void of terror. It also, It's also overtaking me. To any of my men who sees this, once we're free of this place, I will get the arsenal code from him. I will get it, and I will ra I'll radio back to you. Trapped down here with the beast, and arsenal may be your only hope. It's all I can do, all I have courage to do. Get to the communications room in the soldiers' quarters. Hide there. There's more to this. I'll broadcast the code to you, Joe Burt. So they literally, like, left us down here. Why? <laughs> Couldn't they just, like, wake me up first? And then have me, like, go in line? I hear something weird. I hope I can't break down doors. I got bolts, right? I got one bullet. All right. Good enough for me. I got some fuel, so let's go quickly use it. I said quickly, so I got to run. Save it just in case. Okay, anything to put away. I, I guess the cloth? I need more space for other stuff. Put that away for now. Unless, I don't know. Do I need it? Just in case. I don't know, man. Try my best here. Oh my god. Did I write something down? Well, that's broken. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Never. 
I got a gun. Not afraid to use it. Gotta be very careful because I don't know where it is, but I can hear it. It's nearby. Oh, I got some lights. I need some more cloth. Wait, wasn't it just right here? Oh, I was literally just here before. Oh no. I went in the big circle. My God, that was a bomb. I somehow did not see the trip wire, but it was there. I guess my light wasn't bright light enough to see a shadow on it. All right, cool. So I guess it went to my last manual safe. I did not notice this map before. This is the main map of the bunker. It will be updated with objectives and details as you progress. Soldiers quarters, arsenal. Okay, I'm guessing that once you explore those areas, I'm gonna write down like, or I'm gonna draw what I've seen, like what's in those areas. Okay, so I'm here right now, where the bullet point is. Okay, um, I just died, but it wasn't from the monster, so I feel like that death was a little unfair. So let's go out the door, and let's go straight to the soldier's quarters. Or, I don't think I can, because it, um, it's locked. So let's not go there. Let's go to the arsenal. Right? Because that might not be locked. Well, it looks like I can't go there. I need the valve for the emergency lockdown. So let's go back to exactly where I died, and this time let's not trigger the bomb. Okay, so how do I not 
activate the bomb. Do I go slowly? It's still bloop anyways. Okay, what do we got here? Roman Tunnel Update. 2nd May 1916 from Sergeant Jobert to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett. Engineers have broken through our storage area and into the old Roman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess, I was skeptical, skeptical of this last point, but they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels, perhaps of notes. Inside the tunnels, we found urns, lat Latin texts, etc. We'll do our best to pre preserve some materials for prosperity. Posterity. Poster po posterity. Updates to follow. Okay. Oh, I got some fuel! No inventory space. Oh, yeah. Okay, do that. And, um... Prisoner in custody. After a raid of the last evening, we have in custody some 20 soldiers from the IV Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. A uh, prisoner I would like to hold before capture, he ripped his he ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. So I guess he removed the signia, so, you know, of course, they wouldn't know if they should, you know, take the time to question the person or not. I wonder if that was, like, an actual thing back then, you know, ripping off the signia. Who's this? Got a miner. Got nothing in there. What a waste of time. No trip wires? He's like, right there. Oh my god, there's a hole! Well, he got me. He got me and I did nothing about it. 
cool, great. All that progress lost, but at least I know what I'm going for. Actually, you know what? Is there a chance that the same items won't be there or they will be there? Because I hope they will. Because if they're not, then... Jesus, okay. So now that I know there's fuel cans over there, I might as well just put more stuff away. I'm gonna need this stuff, but um, cloth, maybe. Put that away for now. Oh, let's do it one more time. One last time. Don't activate the bomb this time. Grab all the notes. Open this up. Grab the fuels. I'm on a roll this time. Okay, so as long as the bomb... Never mind. He's still coming after me. Oh, that's a lot of fuel. Hell yeah. Okay, turn on lights. Cool. Oh, there it is. Can I just jump over it? How high is my hops? Not that high. Maybe I can just run through. Just maybe. Any bombs? This is a shortcut, so I can just leave this open. Okay, fuck it. New note. Brand new. Where's our wine? This is the fourth formal quest for us. The resupply of wine the cellar is running low. I fear the re reaction among the men and my fellow officers. If we're forced to Im implement harsher rationing, I'm already fielding complaints on a daily basis. This army runs on morale, and morale runs on wine. My initial request when was 10 crates. So far, we have received two. Fix it. You stay right there, hole. Got some fuel. They're right there. Is the power out? Okay, no, it's still on. You got some stuff in here. How do I get whoa? 
That's some freaky writing. How do I get past this door? Do I have to use a bomb or something? Probably. What is all this? Great. Oh, I'm getting around. Move everything. So gosh darn heavy. I'm sorry, man. Got a dog tag? What's your name? Uh, Delisle. 1671. Thanks, bro. LaRue's report. To Fournier and Blanchett, I'm now putting into writing that I have reported to both of my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14 May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone and I was standing in a vast of plans, plane of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be uh, calling me forward between it and me. Malformed, shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I... Hold on, where's the rest of it? Uh, I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted. Like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shape, shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Please help me. Well, at least I know he's not crazy, because, uh, whatever it was, it killed me, too. What's this? You can now carry more items. Oh, really? I got, uh, one more space. Okay, cool. Better than nothing. What you hiding them down there? Okay, so far I'm pretty sure I've explored everything that's been able to explore without the emergency thingy. So what now? Locked. It's locked. I need something heavy to break. Oh, look at this. I'm probably gonna stop playing soon because uh, I'm kind of reaching my ending point. There better not be any rats here because this is a dead one. Oopsie. Noise is dangerous. Consider being careful how much it you make. Oh, here's lockers. Okay, I got one of them. Uh, Delisol one six seven one. Oh, there it is.
I need you. Thank you. I got a, I got a photo. Okay. What's this for? H Boucher. Nine eight zero three. Nine eight zero three. What I get? Oh, it's a bag for more inventory. So now I can carry another stuff. Cool. I'm liking this playthrough already. I'm doing so much in so little time. Ninth of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. Okay, so sometimes there's audio, like people talking, and sometimes there's not. And I can't tell which which is which. Oh, guess whatever's Clement's journal. Oh, that's me. Oh, okay. So when it ever says Clement, okay, that that's when I know it's gonna talk. What's that? I see them glowing. Oh, it's a grenade. I got a boom boom. I'm gonna go save just in case, because I've done some progress that I do not want to lose. Progress saved. Um, put stuff away. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's almost empty. Coolio. All right. Um, let's see here. Just want to check. All right. Let's go put the valve thingy. Cool, brand new valve. Now let's see what happens. Great, now I got some more rooms to go through. Well, it's loading. All right, I know this might be a weird place to do it, but I'm gonna end part one right here. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you next time for some more amnesia. I don't know how long this game is, but I've seen some early reviews that have said that it's not very long, about four, five, maybe even six hours, you know? And that's not a very long game. I just can't guarantee that I can finish it in that amount of length because, you know, I'm not the smartest person around. So 
It might take me a while to figure out a lot of the puzzles and all that kind of jazz. So, yeah, I'm liking this so far. You know, I died twice or twice. Yeah, one by a bomb. And the monster grabbed me from his little hiding hole like a fucking pussy. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time for some more amnesia. Bye.